Alright, this is a video on how to use the TI-83 or the TI-84 graphing calculator in order to find the maximum or minimum points and therefore values of a particular uh, function. Alright, for our first example, we have a parabola f of x equals x squared minus 2x plus 3. Okay, we're going to graph this in the calculator. So hit the y equals button, which is there, and then enter in x squared. So here's the x key, x, and then squared and then minus 2x plus 3. So you enter that in. Alright, and then graph it. And there's your parabola. Now if your graph doesn't look quite like that, you can hit the zoom button and then go down here to number 6, standard, and that'll put you on a um, negative 10 to 10 on the x-axis and a negative 10 to 10 on the y-axis. And it's kind of a good place to start if you can't see anything on your graph. All right, so there's the parabola that we were expecting. So now we want to find this point right here, the vertex for, for this particular parabola, also called the minimum point. All right, so now we want to find the minimum point. All right, so this calc that's right above the trace button, that's what we need. So we hit second calc. All right, we get this menu. On this menu, which one do you think? Oh, which one of these do you think we're going to need? All right, well, since we're looking for the minimum point, we're going to do number three here. So arrow down to number three, hit enter. The calculator is going to ask you a series of questions. <clears throat> First one being, where do you want the left bound to be? And all that's asking you to do is to put the cursor. Notice I'm moving the cursor so that it is to the left of where the minimum point is. So if right here is the minimum point, then the cursor is to the left of it. Everybody see that? Okay. So then you just hit enter. Then it's asking for a right bound, which just means put the cursor so that it is to the right of the minimum point. So we'll move it over here and say, all right, now if this is the, the minimum point, then here we're to the right, hit enter. And these two little arrows up here are just denoting the interval that the calculator is going to try to find the minimum point at. All right, now it's going to ask you for a guess. I never worry about a guess. I just hit enter. And hit enter again. It cranks to the work and pops up. Now this 1.0008. That's a rounding error on the calculator. This is essentially the number one, right? And if you did the vertex formula on uh, on our equation here, on our function, you would get the ordered pair one comma two. All right, so your calculator spits out the ordered pair comma, the ordered pair one comma two. So we could say the the minimum point is one comma two. And since this is a parabola, we could refer to this as the as the vertex is one comma two. Um, okay, but this would be called a minimum point uh, or a local minimum point or an, uh, an absolute minimum point uh, from those from the previous video. All right, so the minimum value. Remember, the value of a function is the y part of the point. So if this is the minimum point, the minimum value is two. Okay, we can just read that right off. Uh, the uh, minimum point there. All right, let's try one more. All right, so let's graph this. So go back to y equals, hit clear, and let's put in. Now this is the negative button down here. Don't use the minus. All right, so put negative three x squared. Now minus eighteen x minus twenty three. All right, and we'll graph that. All right, so now it looks like we're looking for a maximum point, All right? So second calc. This time we want number four. All right, so number four. All right, left bound. So right now your cursor is located at zero comma negative twenty-three, which is pretty far down here, right? So we need to move it back up. All right, so using the right arrow keys and the left arrow keys, we can move our cursor. All right now we need to move it so this to the left of this maximum point because we want the left bound. All right, so we'll say, all right. If this is the maximum point, our cursor is to the left of it. Hit enter. Right now, move it so that it's to the right. Okay, so we're to the right of it. Enter. There's our little interval uh, that's going to try to find the maximum point on. We're not going to guess. Just hit enter. Calculator does the work, and we get negative 2.9999 y equals 4. So really, what do you think this is? Yeah, that's really negative 3. So the max point, the maximum point here is negative three comma four and the maximum value is just four the y part of the maximum point all right so does everybody understand how to find the maximum or minimum points um, on a particular graph using the calc 
menu underneath there. Using the calc menu, then use minimum or maximum to find uh, your point with the left bound and the right bound. All right, that's it. Study well. Please let me know if you have any questions.